गुड मॉर्निंग योर मर्सीफुल लव ओ गॉड वी हैव रिसीव्ड इन द मिडस्ट ऑफ योर टेम्पल योर प्रेज ओ गॉड लाइक योर नेम रीच एस द एंड ऑफ द अर्थ योर राइट हैंड इज फिल्ड विद सेविंग जस्टिस in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the communion of the holy spirit be with you all Amen. my dear brothers and sisters let's acknowledge all our sins and failures to participate worthily in these sacred mysteries I confess to all of you that you are May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for on those we have rescued from slavery to sin you bestow eternal gladness through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all, destined for the flames. Such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became an occasion of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as a stranger's. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. the word of the lord thanks be to god the
The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives up demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest, harvest is abandoned, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. We see how Jesus travels to a vast number of places. He teaches and shares the Gospel of God's Kingdom to all who will hear, also healing every sick person. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. Jesus' amazing sermons and miracles lead to huge groups gathering around him everywhere he goes. As he looks out over the crowd, our Messiah is filled with a profound and deep compassion. He sees how lost the people around him are 
like a sheep being led astray without a shepherd. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Here we need to understand how every person is spiritually lost without the good shepherd that is without Jesus. But Jesus wants to reach out and help the people. So he said, the harvest is abandoned, but the laborers are few. As Jesus offers heavenly, heavenly solution to this labor shortage, he tells his followers to humbly pray to God, asking, asking him to call upon more workers to share the gospel and bring home the spiritually lost. But the truth is, our Heavenly Father can sovereignly decide to welcome anyone He chooses into His kingdom at any time. God doesn't technically need our help for anything. I mean, He is God after all. However, He has chosen to freely invite all His believers to be joyous co-laborers of His spiritual harvest. Thus, any follower of Christ can get involved in God's work in helping the lost. Yes, this includes each of us today. Amid the chaos and untruths of modern life, people are in need of Jesus to bring true peace to their lives. Perhaps now more than any other period in history. Just like how our Messiah spoke to anyone who would listen, we too can also tell others around us about God's desire for them to know and follow Him. There are many practical ways we can do this. Pray for more laborers of God's harvest. Regularly praying for more workers also expresses our genuine heart for others to come to know and glorify Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Share the gospel with others. God also welcomes all of us to, pro to proactive in spreading the good news to others. We should take initiative as the Holy Spirit leads. Of course, not everyone is called by God to be a, lit to be a literal missionary, traveling to far-flung and remote places. He may ask some to do so, but not all. However, we are all able to freely share our faith and testimony with family, friends, loved ones, colleagues, and other people who may not truly know Christ yet. To be clear, we should never bang our Bibles over people's heads, dogmatically forcing them to listen. Instead, there are many loving and pragmatic ways to spread the gospel amid our everyday lives. For example, we can always reach out to a friend facing struggle, showing sincere care for them. If God wills, this can also be a chance to share how Jesus can help him or her find true peace in his or her life. We can also seek to lead more Christ-like daily lives. By desiring this, we start to shine with God's light in the world. This can thus make others curious, inspiring them to ask, to ask you more about your faith. In short, as Christians, there are so many ways for us to be 
co-laborers of God's harvest work. Let us be humble towards others, yet still never shy away from pointing to our Good Shepherd. God bless you all. Amen. For Pope Francis, for Bishop James, for Father Andrew, that their intentions for the glory of God be fulfilled. We pray to the Lord. We pray that we partake the work of God's kingdom on this earth sincerely imitating Lord Jesus and reaching out to the people in need. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are traveling, including Father Andrew, that they may have safe travels. We pray to the Lord. We remember all the sick and suffering people whom we know and whom we do not know, that through our prayers, God would reach out to them, heal them, and console them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the intention of this Mass, for Jean Peterson, we pray to the Lord. For the prayers we now have in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Let us now pray for vocations, O oh God. our families, bless our children, and choose from our homes those needed for your work. Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Pray for our priests, religious, and deacons. Obtain for us many more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so he has to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and James our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the Father, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray grant we pray o lord that having been replenished by such great gifts we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through christ our lord the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended go and live in peace of christ thank you all god bless and good day